Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're unveiling a brand new project, so be sure to stick around. Also, if you're new to the YouTube channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. So let's get this thing uncovered and show you what we have to work with. You're probably wondering, What's this ugly mess? <laughs> ugly mess? Ugly mess. What's the name of this ugly mess? I call it Esther. Now, quick disclaimer before I get started here. This is my buddy's car, and he did not pick this paint scheme. My eyes! He did not put it on this chassis and, you know, cut the body up to do this. He just bought it like this, and we're going to do some work to fix it. So now that we got that out there, this is radical. So this has to be from, like, the 90s or 2000s. This paint job is very bizarre. I've never seen a paint job that looks like this. I don't know really how to explain it. I just don't see... What somebody was thinking whenever they would have painted this. Man, that's the wildest tale I ever heard. You know, if they would have left the car white, that would have been perfectly fine. I think that would have been a cool race car. Maybe put like a black stinger on it or a red stinger. But this is like an amoeba looking thing on the door. It almost looks like a deer that went splat because there's like an eye and an ear, maybe a nose, maybe legs, maybe it got rolled over by the back tire. I really don't know what's going on here with this paint scheme. But really, I just really want to know. Who is responsible for this? this? I demand that you show yourself. Who are you? Huh? I just don't get the paint scheme, but luckily the car wasn't cut up too bad. So it still has a decent front end on it. It's hand laid front end. It has headlights down below. It still has the original headlight buckets in it. That They don't have the pivots, but it still has the buckets. So we can fix that. We can turn that back you know, to having actual operating headlights. The actual car has a lot of the original trim that still fits nice. We have a set of back trim for it too. He has all the, the windows, the regulators, the vent window assemblies. So that's all gonna be nice to make this more streetable. It's got a big cage in it that ties in directly to the chassis. So all the floor is gone. It's been replaced by this steel tin because the chassis and the cage are one. So there's a couple bars that go through the firewall that unbolt, but everything else is attached to the chassis. So you take all the tin out and you can pick the body up around it. And the sticker says this thing was certified for 750 or slower. So this thing was boogieing. So it must've been, yeah, 03 to 05. So this thing was probably built in the late 90s, early 2000s. That really makes sense for the graphics. But inside, it's all pretty original. You know, it still has all the trim inside. Still has the dash pads. They, oh, they did drill some holes there for there. I don't know, this is the MSD box. The clock's gone, they put a tack in, but I don't think they hogged that hole up. We can still put a speaker grill in there. So there's some repairs that we can do uh, to fix this. It has some aftermarket column. And these plates would have to go. Put a nice cluster in it, glove box. It still has all the trim on the inside, the halo. Oh, the headliner does have a tear in it, but it's not its not bad. It has some unknown seats in it. But overall, the car's in pretty nice shape. The door's shut nice. It still has pretty good gaps on it. It's all very workable. It has fiberglass bumpers in the back. Got yourself a set of wheelie bars when you're going fast. This mirror has to go. It's like the same one that was on my dad's Camaro. That's the first thing. Actually, I'll probably take that off right now. I can't stand looking at this thing. It has this big, big scoop hood. I think this thing had a big block in it and it was a stick shift car for drag racing. It still has the original hood skin on the underside that was for a 63. You can tell because it's raised here and it has the holes here for the, the cookie sheets. And it was an earlier hood because it had the wedges on it but it's obviously been modified so that could be reskinned with a, a new top skin to use the original shell but under here pretty sanitary just drag racing stuff nothing was really hogged up under here still has the original wiper motor so there's a lot of good parts on the car still so the plan for this car has changed a couple times initially my buddy just wanted me to pull the body off so we could get this chassis painted black because Having a pink chassis is not cool. And then try to remove the graphics on this thing and just stuff a big block in it and drive it as is. Um, but I told him maybe there'd be a little better value in bringing it back to more of an original car. I mean, it looks cool 
with these big meats under the back of it, but he's really not sold on the pro street look. He really doesn't need that. He just wants a car that he can drive and have fun with. So what may end up happening is if he can sell this chassis, that chassis is gonna get painted black and it's gonna go under this car. And then we're gonna hopefully try to remove these graphics. I'm gonna try wet sanding and seeing if I can remove them, you know, like somewhat decently. And if not, then we may end up like patinaing it or uh, he may just end up painting it completely. But we'll try playing around with the graphics. So I'll probably start on the hood just to see how that works out. Try wet sanding through, breaking through and seeing if I can just hit white everywhere. And that will clean it up a lot more. So he's got to get a different hood for it. Put the Misfit chassis under it. He's debating whether he wants to run the Misfit engine. He'd want to run a different exhaust. That exhaust is too loud. And sadly, these side pipe covers are pretty well hacked up. But inside, we would have to take all the tin out, you know, take these door bars out, disconnect all the members that go from the cage to the uh, cage and the engine. All these plates start taking out uh, the seats and taking out all this tin inside. Get this thing ready to pluck. The only thing that concerns me is that I think the original floor that goes across here is gone. It probably has to be to get it past this, but there's really not a lot of support to keep the body from flexing in. We're just relying on the top of the bird cage. Right here, there's just a single member that runs across. And I mean, this stuff is boxed in over here and it's triangulated over here and it's got the rockers and the windshield frame and stuff. So it's not like it's gonna really flex too much, but that's one thing we gotta pay attention to when we pick this thing up. And luckily, there's not a lot of weight in the doors. So I think we should be okay. We'll just have to be very careful that we don't tweak this body because the body's in really nice shape. The quarters, look like they're nice they feel they feel like they're you know original style quarters it still has you know original back glass still has clips he has a trim for the back to go around it so this can be a very nice car so the plan is to bring it to more of a original style car I mean, so we'll get the headlights working different hood put the misfit frame on it put a complete floor front to back in it fix the paint do the doors the windows fix that mirror situation Maybe put an emblem on the front. So that's the plan for this thing. This is radical. So I feel like some lava lamps were involved in making this painting or I don't know if they were just throwing paint at a wall and making splats and seeing what happened. This just doesn't make sense. I mean, are these flames? Is that, is that supposed to be a flame? All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's gonna be a little bit of a different project. It's kind of neat because there's gonna be a lot of different work that I need to do on this car that I didn't do on the Misfit. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of videos coming up on this car in the future, coming up on the Field Find car, eventually the 67. I have something else to show you guys and I've been plugging away on the cow. So I have a lot of videos coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss and I have a lot of work to do, as you can see. So I'll catch you guys later.